Hello everyone, my name is Journeyman and welcome to a new let's play for Outlast, a horror game back from a couple years ago um, that I've been wanting to play so bad, uh, I'm now finally getting the chance to play. Um, so if you don't know, this is this is kind of one of the big horror games that's sort of kind of the revival of running with no weapons, no nothing, you literally just hide and go, um, something that was Previously built off Amnesia, uh, which I'd love to cover at a different time. Uh, but right now, we're going to go through Outlast. I've seen a Let's Play of this like, uh, like a couple years ago. Uh, I don't remember hardly anything. Uh, I played through the first like two minutes of it just to make sure it was working correctly and everything, making sure it was all smoothly. Uh, but other than that, um, this will be my first time going through this ever. So I'm super excited going through there. Um, and just to get started, um, I right now am playing in a dark office right now. Uh, so yeah, I want I would like everybody to get into the mood. Uh, lights off, headphones on, get the volume turned up, and uh, let's go through this together. I am super excited to do this. Okay, Atlas contains intense violence, gore, graphic, sexual content, strong language. Please enjoy. Uh, you are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to take risks digging into stories no other journalist will dare investigate. You will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. To the Gabby, the, the, the Gab, holy cow, navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth. Uh, your only choice are to run, hide, or die. Like I said, we are not we are not here to fight. We are here um, to survive. Uh, press pass there. my volume up a little bit so I can hear that a little better. The hard time here with the talk about on the radio, see if it's anything related. Holy cow. Things you could never get to do. Go to the asylum in the middle of the well look what well, appears to be the middle of the night. Like who would do this? And then especially with the gates just sitting here wide open like this. And then there's no one there. <coughs> okay. Oh. Yep, looks like we're just gonna hop out and uh and go. Okay, so temper uh, 17th, 2003. Uh, mute mail. Let's see. You don't know me. I have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult uh, consult for our Merkov Psychiatric Systems facilities and Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. I am very much breaking right, uh, breaking right now. Um, but seriously, fuck those guys. Several things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about the dream therapy going too deep. Finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt, and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. So we're trying to find the truth about um, this asylum. Um, as, as far as I know, the asylum is taking advantage of its patients and using them and hurting and hurting them and just using an experiments pretty much uh, and because of that and because of where they are they've unleashed some kind of evil evil spirit or something like that I think uh, like I said it's been forever uh, those are updated in your notebook your notes and picked up documents J um, here notes and then documents um, just a whistleblower Um, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah. No, thank you. I mean, look at this place. Oh. Can we just get back in the car and leave? Like, nobody's in here. The gate just shut by itself. 
I mean, that's just sort of like every great horror movie right there. Um, password. Password protected stuff. I'm trying to see if there's anything. I don't see anything. No, nothing, nothing. Okay, oh man. To put a door quickly, press the left bout, bout, um, mouse button. Oops. And then how do we... And just click it to open it, okay. And a camcorder. And then... I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum, shut down and been scanned on the government secrecy in 1971, reopened by Markov Psychiatric Systems in uh, 2009, under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than a lost signal. The Markov Corporation has a long track record of, of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to, has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Yeah, these guys are... From what I know, these guys are not good people. Uh, well, yeah, when your camcorder is raised to record the events. Okay. Yeah, the Markov Corporation is not a good... Is not a good people. I mean, just from what we hear there, oh, we already know that. Um... I want to go there. What the... Military vehicles, it looks like? I'm not sure. My massive asylum. Uh, no. Uh, door. Can we try this door? So, both locked. the heck was that? <coughs> I don't know if we get anything. Um, I didn't think we did. Okay. I think we know where we're supposed to go. We're supposed to go to that side over there. I'm pretty sure. Because uh, it had that open, open door. And they just did not want people to leave this place. I mean, look at it. It's all sorts of chained up. I understand keeping the inmates in, but dang. This place is seriously like a prison uh, more than a, uh, anything else. Come on, Miles, let's do this. Okay. Oops. There we go. We seem to trouble going through doors. I don't know why, but we seem to have trouble going through doors. Okay, scaffolding. Okay, there we go. How do we enter into... Whoa. Oh, okay. It's just the out of there. I was like, uh, what? Doors locked. Okay. Not going that way then. Let's see. So I'm in and out. So we already figured that out. Normally, you would think I'd say that because there's something nearby. Oh, well, let's hop on the ladder and go up. Because this seems like a normal way to get in scale scaffolding. Just screw this music. Holy cow. Oops. Ooh. Press F. Let's screw this. No, thank you. What the heck even happens here? Dang, dude. Oh, lovely. 
that dude, that dude's not creepy at all. <clears throat> okay. Ooh. Oh shoot, I did not just do... Shoot, what a waste of a battery, seriously? Okay... Hello? Anybody home? No, door's boarded up though. Squeeze through, get squeezing through stuff. Always is the right answer. Especially when there's blood on the wall. Yeah. Bullet holes are just. I th yeah, I'm pretty sure the bullet holes. Dang. Teamwork. Team. Pl what? Team player award? Patrick something? No, thank you. Okay, we can close the doors, which is good. Uh, you can pick these guys up. Yeah, I already figured out how to reload my battery. Dude, oh, uh, thank you. Hey, uh, you should leave your phone off the hook. Let's see what we got here. Markov Hijack Systems, Project Project Wall Rider, case number 174. Uh, patient initials, uh, WPH Billy. Consultation dated 12 10 14. Initial day of patient consult 9 4 of 12 19 male. Um, Carl Hudson. Therapy status. Patient claims to be a uh, progressed to self directed lucid dream status. Uh, Morphogenic engine activity obsessed at uh, unprecedented scale. Uh, continuing stage four hormones a uh, hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Uh, Spirometry revealed no bronchial ac accumulation. Uh, Hemocrit centrifuge. Again, uh, failed to separate erythrocytes. Highly worrisome. MRI revealed erythric REM. NREM cycle laughter in the NREM site state interview notes Billy asked what the status of his mother's lawsuit against Markov in the asylum this represents a catastrophic breach in security despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood and in the blood dreams of the Dr. Traeger no the only Dr. Traeger on the company records one Richard Traeger is an executive from MRD all orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. And then work off psychiatric assistance, project wall rider. Okay, so this Billy guy here sounds like he's part of a um that's report for William Hope. So he's part of a uh, some kind of like test or something like that. Maybe, maybe test. Is maybe not the right word. A, a treatment. Um. Excuse me. Do I freaking hear somebody moving? Um. Yeah. That's just oh, of course. Locked. Um, well. Oh, no. Thank you. We're just going to uh yeah. We're just going to shut that. Uh, we could have shut it louder, right? And what the Heck? What is that? Dude, what happened here? Like... Oh. 
Yeah, let's let's go. And no thank you anymore. Damn. Ooh. Yeah, man. What the actual crap? That dude must have been in the bathroom. Dude, screw that, man. Uh, okay. Nope, not going that way. Oh. It's never a good sign when things are just piled up like that. Okay, where'd he go? What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, no thank you. Music, you can just calm down now, please. Yeah, we, um, don't need this. Eh, oh, lovely. Bodies everywhere. Damn, dude. Oh. Ooh. They killed us. You got out. The very. You can't fight them. Who killed you? you? Have to hide. Can unlock the main doors. From security control. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Um, I mean, I agree. I, I definitely agree with that. Okay. So let's see. I'm inside. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood. Burn marks. Heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkoff scientists hung from ceilings. The badges say Murkoff Advanced Research Systems. And Murkoff uh, life, Lifelong MO. Uh, has been to profit off the exploitation of the supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. How did Murkoff think they would make money off the building, a, cr a building of full full of crazy people? There was some kind of technical cop, a tactical cop, pinned like a pig on a spike. Uh, tells me to get the fuck out, then dies. Would it have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came? Yeah, right? Because that we're stuck inside here. We don't have just an easy way out anymore, and according to this, the front door's locked. Let's see, if we get lucky and we're able to make it through, but dang, dude, holy cow. Look at all the heads. This doesn't have a body. Um. Uh, what? What just. Oh, because it's... My cat's in the sun moving around. They are making me jumpy. Oh, of course. I'm afraid to see what it was in... Oh. Oh, we'll take that. Hi. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's let's reload that. Dude, screw in the other doors. Locked. Oh man. Locked. Oh. Okay. Little fake. Oh, what the <laughs> shit? <laughs> oh, crap. <coughs> You're choking. Nice little fall. And who are you then? Who are you? I, um, I that's see. fine. 
Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Um, I'm not entirely sure what you're wanting me to do. I'm not sure if I like it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, dude. No. Oh, dude. Okay. Let's turn that off. Who the heck was that guy? Uh, obviously, he's a father of some sort. But, uh, I think we're going to end it here, guys. Um, and we'll start back up um, on this part here soon. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, proclaim the gospel while you're at it. Um, and we'll look at a scene next one. Thank you so much for joining in today. Have a wonderful day. Um, and remember, um, don't be scared. Bye.